when you were growing up, what extreme sports games did you play on the PlayStation? Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Matt Hoffman Pro BMX, Dave Mel Freestyle BMX. Well, those are good and okay games. But what about inline skating games? Why aren't there any inline skating games? Well, actually, there is one. Exploits Inline Skater. Now, I got this game way back in 2002 at Funkoland. And I remember this game sucking really bad. I remember this is the only game that I ever returned for a different one. Because this game really sucks. And every time I mention this game, most people never heard of it. Matter of fact, no one ever heard of it. No one I talked to never heard of, of this game. So, and I guess that's a good thing, because this game was really sucked when I first played it. But maybe I was little. Maybe I should give it another chance. So, no further ado, this is X Place, Inline Skaters. Now, believe it or not, there is a story to this game. They don't even mention it in the game, just the manual. The story goes like this. It's that time of year again, and the robot is back. God, I hope this is not a sequel to something else. And it's time to host another skating tournament. The best of the best come and compete to be the next X-Crown. But for the past five years, the X-Crown has gone to Flapjack. The Circus Monkey. I'm being dead serious. For the past five years, the contestants are being beaten by a circus monkey. Which doesn't surprise me much, since there's a robot hosting the contest. There's not much of a selection on the main menu. There's only four things to select from. Tournament, which is the main game. Practice, which you really don't need. Options. All you can do is change the volume on the music and sound and turn vibration on and off. Load game? Well, it does load your game if you have a save file on your memory card. But since the tournament is the main game, I'll be focusing on this. You start out with two characters. You can unlock more characters, but I'll explain how to do that later. However, no matter what character you select, they're all pretty much the same. The only characters I see any real difference is the robot. And he's the last character you unlock in the game. He doesn't have much air time as everyone else. Each character has their own two special moves. One for grinding and one while in the air. However, every character has the same button combination. Meaning to do everyone's special move, it's up up circle, while in the air, and up up triangle for the grind. Which still is a fun way by figuring how to do them. Also, most of the special moves are stupid. Toe touch, salute grind, tail pull, there's nothing special about them. Anyone can do these moves. Unlike some extreme sports games, where you get to move around the level and explore, this game doesn't offer that. Oh no, instead you go through obstacle course. There are two rounds in each level. The qualifying round and racetrack. I'll talk about the qualifying round first. You need to score a certain amount of points for each qualifying round by grinding on rails or jumping off ramps and do a trick. The best way to score points is to grind on rails then jump off and do a trick at the end. Keep doing it, you'll be qualified for the next round in no time, no matter what level you're on. And in case you're wondering, there is no point deduction for doing the same trick. If you do a backflip 180, it's going to equal 750 points each time you do it. Also, you don't score bigger points for holding a grab trick along, unlike some good games. Now, you do have a time limit, which is 2 minutes, which is plenty of time to finish any level. After you qualify for the second round, it's time for the race track. In the race track, you race against a random character. Now, the race track changes the course a little. Instead of ramps and rails, they replace them with cones, crates, and other objects. 
let you guys know there's almost no challenge to this. No matter what character you choose, you're always faster than the AI. The only real way to lose a race is by running into objects. The only fun thing I found in this race is that I can make the AI fall by running into him. In case you didn't get that, here's my short version. Beat this score, win the race, next level. This is all you do in this game. The same repetitive thing over and over again. I just wish they gave me a little more things to do. Like, collect this, collect that, jump over this. But no, they don't offer that. What the crap? Well, actually, you can collect coins in this game. The qualifying track you collect monkey coins, while the race track you collect real coins. There are six coins on both tracks in each level, and they are scattered around the track. Now, collecting these coins are optional. You don't have to collect them to move on the next level. But to unlock a new character, you have to collect them. Also, you have to collect all six coins at once without missing one. If you miss one coin, you have to start all over because the game doesn't count it unless you get all six at once. The controls in the game is almost like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, except the grab moves are switched with the square button while the circle button does the flips and spin moves. And the triangle is to grind. Now, there are a few small problems with the controls. One of them, there is no spin button. I know I mentioned Circa is to spin, but really, it's a flip trick like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I want to be able to do a grab move and spin, but the game doesn't offer that. The biggest problem I had with the controls is to grind. It took me a while to get my characters to grind. I really don't know why I was having this problem, but in any extreme sports games, I never had this problem. So why am I having this issue with this game? However, I only had this problem when I first started playing. I wish I knew what I did differently, because I don't have that problem no more. So, do I recommend this game? No, I don't. Stay away from this game, which should be easy. Not for many stores would take this game, which I can clearly understand. It's repetitive, it's not worth your time, stay away from it. I am so glad I traded this game in for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. It was totally worth it. Here's the ending. Yes, that's the ending. That's all you get. No cutscenes, no nothing. Well, you do get credits, but I don't care a crap about those people who made this game. Because this game sucks. This is the Video Game Hunter. And until next time, goodbye. The All Around Gamer Production.